welcome again to our Sakata vegetable production series. Today we're talking cabbages. Um, first of all, your spacing. How does it look when you can harvest it? How you should harvest it and so forth. And what are the things that you need to look out for? Lolo, how are you doing? Good in yourself. No, good, good. Right. Okay, so behind us, we've got cabbage that's now basically fully grown and mature. First of all, what I want to know is, and I think here we can see it properly, why is spacing on cabbages so important? Oh, spacing is very important, Andre, because that's what determines the size of your head. So the closer you put the cabbages together, the smaller the head will be. Yeah. The further apart, the more space it has, the bigger the frame can be. So this is almost like, um, like this piece here where we took out this one where we can see now more properly if you've got the space in between then you get a nice proper head um, and you get a lot better size but what what determines the size that I want at the end of the day how should I go for small or bigger why would I want to go that direction um so different markets vary so yes. for, exa for example the hawker market wants a bigger uh, frame a bigger head uh, whereas some other markets they want a medium-sized head so that's going to determine the type of head that you're going to, or it's going to determine the space that you're going to plant at. The smaller the spacing, the smaller the head would be. The bigger the spacing, the bigger the head would be. So again, market dependent. Beforehand, do your research, make sure that you know what your market wants and then plant accordingly. Definitely. Okay, so if I look at this, um, this plant here and I want to harvest this now, okay? Will I just pluck out this middle piece or do I take out the whole plant? What do I do? Uh, no, um, so what you would do you would get a sharp knife and you cut yes. it at the stem end, right? Yep. Uh, and you would leave the outer leaves, depending on your market. So the hawker market, you'd leave all the leaves there. Yeah. Uh, and then the bagging market, you'll remove just some of the outer leaves and then put it in your bags. So those outer leaves actually serve as protection to the main head. So they help if it gets any bumps and bruises and so forth. It actually helps with the shelf life uh, in, in the longer term. That's correct. Okay. Then there's another thing which I, which I want to know is, and when we're specifically looking at the quality of cabbage, mm we um you've got this one i think it's a hybrid eh? yes that's correct okay so you open pollinated ones what do they tend to do um in terms of degrading and so forth uh two things with the open pollinators that they would do so they would bolt quicker yeah um and what i mean by bolting is that they would go into their reproductive phase where they would want so to take making their flowers. seed basically they're making seed yeah so usually when they're stressed out um they would go into the bolting so the open pollinators usually do that first yes and secondly, the hybrids also offer you with the disease resistance. Specifically on this um, hybrid that we're looking at, the Optima, it's got resistance against black rot. Yes. So you can see that the leaves are still very, very clean. You can't see any symptoms at all, even on this one. So that helps you a lot. So, okay, when we look at the internal quality here, just show me there quickly. Um, what, what are we looking for here? Okay, so what you want to look at here in your internal quality is your core here. Yes. So you don't want this to be more than one third. Okay. of the cabbage that's going to be an indicator that you actually sowed in the wrong slot okay yes so now if you in the right slot this core should be around there and this core going up there that's an indicator of it about to bolt okay um and and you're, you're talking about the uh, you didn't plant it in the correct slot what does that mean so uh cabbage we planted all year round but we've got winter varieties and we've yes. got summer varieties okay so for instance if you planted a summer variety in winter or vice versa you would see that bolting reaction happen quicker. So you must make sure for your region um, that exactly you planted in, this, in the correct time. Yes. Because what happens now, but if this thing is yes, yeah, so what? what? What does that make with the cabbage now? So it just means it's going to bolt quicker. But yeah. if, if, if your core comes up, it's still marketable. Yes. You, you can still eat it, but it's not ideal. Okay. And, and I'm going to have less nice cabbage in this. Am I correct? <laughs> that's correct. Okay. Um, so that's and and also am I correct in saying that the hybrid cultivars basically also they are um, a lot more resistant to bolting that you will most get get this within the hybrids with the open pollinators you get that bolting happening that's correct usually what, how we would describe it is your um, the field holding capacity yes so if we say it's excellent field holding capacity uh, as compared to good that means the excellence is better than good uh, than just okay awesome okay and then the other thing that i want to know is um just in terms of heads per um per hectare what are we looking at give or take uh so twenty five thousand to thirty thousand. yes so that also goes back to depending on your head size so the bigger the size you want you do some smaller populations so twenty five thousand. the more medium head size you go to thirty thousand head okay so then the last thing is um if I'm looking at harvesting the cabbage, how do I know that these things are actually, that they are mature and ready to harvest? 
Um, so usually you would start looking after 90 days from transplanting. Yes. Uh, but a good indicator, you'd look at your head here. Yeah. You can see this top leaf that's starting to curl here. Okay, so it's making that curlicky. Yeah, exactly. So as it curls, that's a good indicator that it's very mature. Okay, so that's now ready. That's ready to harvest. And after I've harvested, um, what is the shelf life on these things if I were to store it in a cool, dry place? Uh, so in a just normal storage, uh, two weeks. In yes. cold storage, you're adding about more two weeks again. Okay, so then that's a, a lot longer when it's in cold storage at the end of the day. But cool, dry place under shade should get about two weeks. Should I get two weeks, that's correct. Awesome. Lolo, thank you very much. Thank you. Right, so that's it from our Sakata Vegetable Production Series. Look out, there's a lot more videos coming. Um, go and check out the Sakata website. And also, if you've got any questions, just leave a comment below or click the link depending on where you're watching and then you can get more information or get directly in contact with Sakata. Till next time, cheers.